Hello YouTube. I have a 2010 Toyota Camry hybrid with a hybrid light on. Let's, let's see what's going on. As you see we have a check VCS system and check hybrid system light on plus a check engine light. Let's figure this out. Let's see what's going on. Let's do an auto scan on the vehicle here. After performing a scan on the hybrid control unit, I found that it has 11 faults in the control unit, and it's due to a bad hybrid battery. You have a couple cells here getting weak. You might also have a brake booster problem, but I would have to replace the battery first before making any more diagnosis. Let's check the data out and see what's going on here. Now that we're in the hybrid computer, let's check this live data out. Let's check the state of charge. The live data here shows me right here at block three that we have a low cell here. See how the rest of them are 17? And it's trying to charge, but you'll watch, it'll come back down to the 15 mark area. That's a bad blocker. Probably got two or three bad cells. Looks like the inverter here also has a problem. See how the inverter cooling reservoir here is bubbling? The reason it's bubbling is that water pump right there is not pushing the fluid. After disassembling the trunk here, I inspected the high voltage battery and I came to the conclusion that this battery was replaced by a, another company. What they did is replaced it with used batteries. A lot of these companies out here want to sell you batteries with warranties and want to call it remanufactured or rebuilt. And the only thing they're doing is putting used cells in. It's not fair to your customers.